Hi guys, it's Grace and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming such a requested video and I'm actually so excited to film this because I feel like Shein is so popular right now. Like all my friends are shopping on Shein. Everyone is going crazy for Shein. I have ordered from Shein before, but I've not ever tried any of their summer stuff. Last time I ordered from them, it was like two years ago. I ordered like a load of tweed stuff, like, you know, like their Waldorf outfits. So I spent about £400, which is not good for my bank account. I'm really hoping a lot of this stuff is good because it's not definite, but I think I'm still going on my holiday to Zanity. I'm hoping I can bring some of these bits there. So fingers crossed it's good. Honestly though, it can't just be me, but I literally spent hours on the website. So I've got a couple of bikinis, a couple of cover-ups, and then some like cute dresses and cowards to wear like of an evening. I'm gonna start with a bikini because this was actually really cute. I was a tiny bit worried about ordering white bikinis, but I was reading the reviews and they were all good. So I'm hoping this isn't see through. First bikini I have is this one. I feel like with a tan, white bikinis just look so nice. It's just like a basic top with a ruffle. I thought, I thought this would be so cute on holiday. Fingers crossed it's not see through, but to be fair, it doesn't look like it's gonna be see through because it's quite, thick quality. I have the first bikini on. I'm not going to show you the bottoms because there's weirdos out there. I'm not sure how to feel about it. The thing is, is it kind of reminds me of something I would have worn when I was like five, which is cute, but like I want to wear something a little bit more mature. I do really like it. However, I don't know. I feel like I much prefer the ruffly ones because that's more me and I like the string bikinis. I don't know how I feel about the shape. I do think it looks cute. And also the bottoms, if you want to see them, well, you would have seen me hold them up, but the shape doesn't look very flattering on me. They're not as high waist as I thought they would be. They look like they should either be like normal bikini bottoms, like normal shaped bikini bottoms, or they should be high waisted. It's not too bad quality either. I don't think it would go see-through in the water, especially because there are little pads in there as well. So you've got a bit of coverage even if it does. Next thing I got was a really cute little cover-up. Um, so the top looks like this. It's like crochet. And then I've got some matching shorts to go with this. So I've got these little crochet ones and they can sort of tie up. I think they're drawstring, which is good. They, they really smell of vinegar. You know, like sometimes you order stuff online and it always smells of vinegar. I have the little cover-up outfit on. The top isn't quite what I was expecting. Also, if I keep it, it definitely needs to go straight in the wash because it's a little bit smelly. I kind of wish it didn't have padding, but then I guess it would be see-through. So in a way, that's kind of good. I love the sort of boho vibe with this. I think this is really cute. I definitely wear this down to like breakfast on holiday. It'd look really cute with a little hat and some like gold sunglasses. Next thing I got was another bikini. I thought this was actually adorable. So it's basically a white bikini with these like flower applique design on it and um, i also got one in plain white like this so i don't know whether to keep both but i do really like the peachy color on it string bikini is like my favorite shape of bikini to wear so i really like this i love the peachy color on it as well this bikini looks a bit more see-through compared to the other white one so i kind of feel like that could be a bit of a risk i love the little designs i'm just thinking it could be a bit see-through because the white it doesn't look as thick as the other white ones so i have the next bikini on and you know what such a cute top like i'm actually gutted about this because the top is so cute like it's actually adorable but the bottoms are another story the bottoms are so skimpy i couldn't walk around in them there is too much on show it's such a shame with this but i feel like even if i ordered the medium it would still show a lot do you know what i mean like it just it's a weird it's just a weird shape if i were to wear them i'd constantly be pulling it up so it just wouldn't be very practical i'm just annoyed because it's such a cute top another we have another bikini this is probably what i was the most excited for out of this whole video i don't know why i have a feeling this is gonna be my favorite thing we've got another like applique bikini but this one is plain white it's quite big actually it's another like string bikini with like the applique design on it imagine that with a little cover up we have these side tie bottoms. I'm just literally praying that these aren't see-through because I love the design of this bikini. It also has a really cute little ruche bit on the bum. We actually have the opposite problem with this bikini to the last one. And that is that the bottoms are too big. Luckily, there's a side tie on these ones. I've figured out what might solve both my problems. I think I might order just a plain pair of white bikini bottoms on somewhere like ASOS where I know that they're not going to be see-through. I might do that and then at least I won't have the risk of like going in the pool and like maybe flashing someone <laughs> this top is actually adorable the cups on this one are slightly bigger actually but i don't mind that because it has more coverage and also makes me look like i have more going on over there i think the applique is better quality on this one however i do like the peach one because i think it's a pop of color so let me know what you think should i keep them both this is probably what i was most excited for at this whole haul just because i feel like it is me in a bikini top i got some earrings they're like these little butterflies they're diamante butterflies 
I think these were literally at like £1.50, which is so good as well. <gasps> They're so cute. On holiday, you don't really want to wear anything expensive. I could easily replace these if I lost them. I do think they look quite expensive. Look how sparkly they are. I'm going to put these in straight after this video because they're so cute. I literally went crazy on the cold section. I'm obsessed with colds. I love the fact that you just don't have to think of a cold. You just put it on and you look stylish. Your outfit looks put together. I love colds. <laughs> the first one I got was this really pretty little like white one. It comes with like a tie up top with like ruffles on it. This is my vibe in the summer like with a straw hat. And then it's like that and then it ties up at the back. I have a feeling this is going to be a really good little summery outfit. It comes with a matching little rah rah skirt. I have a massive thing against skirts being too long. I kind of feel like this could be too long. I just hate long skirts with a passion. So fingers crossed it's not too long. It's got like um, broderie on glaze pattern on the bottom and it also ties up in a little bow at the front. I really hope it looks cute on and again not see-through as well because I feel like this could be a tad see-through. Right so we have the cold on. I think this could be so much cuter if they use like a nicer material. Like it is cute, it's a cute style, but the material is just a bit see-through. So the skirt is so long. If you watch my other hauls, you would know like I have this problem where I love short skirts. I can't stand it being longer than where my hands sit. I don't like long skirts, they make me feel frumpy. Even though I'm five foot five, I have quite short legs and this is just not a mini skirt. Like you can't even see the bottom of it, it's that long. The next thing I have is a cute little corset top. Corset tops are probably like my favorite trend at the minute. I just love them, I love the way they look. I'm wearing this House of CB corset today just because I felt like getting glam. So obviously when I saw this corset on there, I was like, that's going straight in my basket. Now I'm looking at it, I think she and think I've got like massive boobs. It's kind of like that bubblegum Barbie pink. It has like a ruffle on the bottom as well, which I love. I'm just hoping that I can kind of get away with the, the booby bit because I just don't have enough to fill this bit up. We have the corset top on. I do really like this. This has such like a princess vibe to it. It's got loads of layers of ruffles. Because it fits me properly, it's not really a problem. It's not like it's falling down, so it is working. This just has such a princess vibe to it. It comes down a bit further at the back as well. I'd probably wear this with denim shorts or like jeans. I do think this is really cute, but I did just buy a house and CB corset, so I'm a bit like, do I need it? Next up, I got another bikini. I just feel like you can never have too many bikinis, so I thought I'm going to order a load. I thought I'll order a load and then I've got the option there on holiday, like which one I want to wear. This one's just a basic. Sometimes I feel like simple's more effective with bikinis. So I got this really cute black um, drawstring one. It's basically just a string bikini. I thought Shein was the best place to order one. On like ASOS and Topshop and everywhere, you pay like 20 quid for just a plain string bikini, whereas on Shein, like you actually pay the price that you should for something so plain, do you get what I mean? They look so simple and classic. I feel like every girl needs this bikini in her life. Next thing I got, I feel like was just a staple. Every Shein haul I've watched, someone has got this dress in a colour. It's like, when I think of Shein, I just think of this dress. <laughs> they do it in literally every colour, every pattern you can imagine. It's basically just a jersey dress with this rouge detail at the top. I just feel like this dress is a Shein staple. I'm excited to see what it looks like on. The only thing I'm thinking with this dress is that it does look like it could be a little bit see-through. It depends how like stretched it is. I kind of have a feeling it could be see-through, but we'll see. It might not be. We have, we have the bodycon dress on. It is really cute. It's comfy. It's cute. I'm not going to keep it just because of the fact that it is... It's just not the sort of quality I like. I like something a bit more sturdy than this. But I do think if you want like a good bikini cover up or just a cute little summer dress to like walk around in, it's so comfy. You could even wear this traveling, it's that comfy. It is, I've got nothing bad to say about this. I do think it's really nice. Oh, maybe I will keep it. Maybe I will. Let me know in the comments. Do I need it? I'm just trying to stop spending unnecessary money. <laughs> is it necessary? It is cute. It is very cute. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is just my favourite colour, like, of all time. I love the shade of pink. Like, I've ordered so many clothes this summer in this colour just because I love it so much. Next thing I've got is, like, a bikini cold set. This is, like, a three-piece set. You get the matching sarong, you get the bikini, and then your outfit is just put together for the pool. So, it is tie-dye. I'm a little bit undecided on the tie-dye trend because part of me is, like... Part of me is like, I don't like it. I'm going to really regret wearing it if I wear it. I just feel like tie-dye is going to be that trend we look back on and we're like, ugh. You know how we look back on like galaxy print? Who remembers those galaxy print leggings and everyone was obsessed with them? And now we look back on them and we're like, we actually want to throw up. Well, I feel like tie-dye is that equivalent. That's why I do try and avoid it. And I also just don't think it really fits in my style. But I was looking on Pinterest the other day. And this is what kind of like gave me approval to wear tie-dye. I was looking on Pinterest the other day and I was like looking up like different movie outfits, like Legally Blonde outfits. 
I was looking at clueless outfits and I came across this outfit that I came across this outfit that Elle Woods wore in Legally Blonde and it was a tie-dye outfit and I was like you know what if Elle Woods can wear tie-dye I'm gonna wear it <laughs> so I got a little tie-dye bikini set don't hate me I know some of you probably really don't like it because I feel like I do feel like I should hate it but I don't know that part of me doesn't so it's this bikini and it has like a little ring i don't have any bikinis like this so i thought this would be a cute one to add to the collection i have like pink and orange and yellow and blue really really nice colors the bottoms are the same so they just match they're just like basic swimming bottoms and then it has this really cute little oh i did not expect the sarong to look like that the sarong was all ruffly on the website what the hell guys i've been scammed the sarong was so cute on the website it was all like ruffly and like long it was like a proper ruffle skirt on the website i'm not happy i've been scammed hold up on the website it looked like this for some reason i thought we'd have like a ruffle hem kind of just a bit of fabric i was expecting it to be more of a skirt you know what again i'm not gonna judge it we shall see what it looks like on i'm actually really happy with the bikini though so we have the tie-dye bikini on and i actually love this the little sarong is actually really cute, even though it doesn't have much coverage. If I was like walking to the beach, I probably could wear this. Maybe not down to breakfast, but like if I was walking to the beach, let me just show you a little bit of this. So like, I feel like if I was walking to the beach, I could wear this. I love the pattern of it. I think it's so cute. When I ordered this, I wasn't actually sure, but I definitely want to keep this. I think it's so nice. I love that it's a three piece and I also love all the colors as well. Also, I've got another pair of earrings. I'm obsessed with these. Um, I've got these little pearl ones and they're actually so cute they're very like 90s vibes like 90s sort of chanel vibes that's what i was going for with these so they're these like pearl earrings with gold rims i always see ones like this in chanel and i'm like oh my god they're amazing i think they're so cute and they were literally like one pound fifty i'd wear these with like one of my cream zara blazers i just thought these were so cute and classy i always lose earrings and stuff so i don't want to spend too much on them so i think these are actually really cute just to like chuck on I do wear a lot of gold and like blazers and stuff so I feel like with a cream blazer these would look so cute and like a gold necklace. Um, oh that's cute okay this kind of has like a 70s vibe to it. It's like a floral old lady print and it's kind of like it's got puffy sleeves and it's like square neck. It does look a little bit old lady. I'm a bit wary of this um, but I do it could look cute on. I just feel like it's a proper like old lady vibe which I'm not sure I like. But we'll see. I feel like this could also give me like no shape as well because it doesn't have much structure at the front. If I'm honest with you, I don't really know what I was thinking when I ordered this. I obviously just like chucked it in the basket and forgot to take it out or something. But it's a little bit weird. I don't know. don't really know why I ordered that. We have the questionable top on and it still is questionable. I don't know what I was thinking with this. I'm really doubting like my taste. I thought I had like okay fashion sense, but I clearly don't if I pick this. I'm trying to think of like an excuse for picking this, but this is actually very ugly. Completely my fault for picking it. I do like Shein's idea behind it, you know, like the the ruching at the back and the square neck and then the puffy sleeve and the floral print. But I just don't think their idea was executed properly. It's just, I don't know, it's just a bit funny, isn't it? It doesn't really do much for me. Maybe it'd look cute on someone else, but. Next thing I got was, you guessed it, another cold. This is actually really cute. So it's this little white cold with, it has like these ruche details on the bottom, which I thought was so cute. And it's like cotton. I love ruching. Ru oh, did I just like pull it out? And then the top is kind of like one of the milkmaid tops. So it's not actually by Shein, it's by like this brand called Yili Basha. Yili Basha? Bit suspicious, but I guess she and probably all the stuff in as well as like making her own stuff. Hold on, this is so cute, like so much cuter than I was expecting. I thought this was a skirt, it's actually short. If you wanted them a bit more like cropped, you could pull them up and ruche them up a bit. I got another pair of earrings, so I got these ones. I think you get about 10 pairs in here. I think these were literally like three pounds, so you get like 10 pairs of just like the plastic pearl earrings. I thought these would be good for by the pool because at least then it doesn't really matter if they go missing. When you're at the pool or the beach, you always lose earrings. So I didn't want to wear any like expensive ones. I'm excited to open these because I've got a pair of sunglasses. Um, these were from the Shein Premium Collection. But I saw these sunglasses on there, which I thought were actually really cute. So they're these like cream ones. No, are you joking? <laughs> are you actually joking me? They're not even sunglasses. Oh, they are okay oh, i don't know oh is do i look a bit funny 
I really can't decide if these look designer if I just look a bit weird. Can someone help me? Comment. <laughs> Do I look really odd? What are we making of these? Do I look weird? To be fair, at first I thought these were literally like glasses and I was like, oh no. They are sunglasses because they're tinted, but like, what do we think? Do they look nice or not? I can't decide. Someone help me out in the comments. Next up, I've got a bikini. So this one is bright pink. I thought this was so cute and kind of like 80s vibe. I don't really know. It just, it just kind of looked a little bit like vintage. I'm not too sure if I'll keep this or not, but it's basically this like Barbie pink bikini. And then it has like this shape top, which I actually thought was so cute. I do actually quite like the high waisted bottoms as well, just cause it kind of has, it kind of has that fifties feel to it, which I thought was cute. I think that is it for today's video. I think I've shown you everything. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm not too sure if I'm impressed yet because I haven't tried the stuff on. I guess if I do another Shein haul, that means I was impressed by some of it. Judging by the look of it, I'd say probably half of it is good half of it is not so good i just think it's really hit or miss with Shein. like you either get something really good or you get something like really dodgy please let me know in the comments what you think i should keep and what you think i should send back because when it comes to like clothes and everything i'm so indecisive make sure you subscribe to my channel for more haul videos i'm going a bit mental with the haul videos at the minute because i need clothes for holiday even though my holiday could literally be cancelled any minute definitely subscribe for more videos i'll see you all in my next one bye Mwah.